what the hell is this? Is it actually gonna cause me heavy? Uh, where the hell are you going, Karna? Come over here. There's a treasure chest that contains uh, cash money. 5,000. Uh, I have to go to the right, huh? Yep. This is the only path. Or uh, go to the east, to be precise. Yeah, I'm not gonna concentrate on actually uh, attacking some of these. I'm just gonna try and concentrate on uh, getting uh, uh, materials uh, and kill uh, the enemies that are uh, protecting these uh, farming points. Ingredients and materials. Uh, let, me, let me head uh, north first. Can I go up here? Answer is uh, no. Tonal cause uh, heavy. That's it. Yeah, once you uh, launch him up in the air. Karna will do uh, a lot of damage to them. So, and he is he is dead. We have a treasure chest here. Ah, oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> Why is the uh, the action for opening uh, chests is the same for doing the goddamn limit breaks? Ah, there's a tragic chest here that contains... Blue Tree Earring. Uh, is it any good? Increases obtained SP. A bewitching earring. Gain more SP when attacking. What's uh, the difference between it and... And... Uh... Oh, I don't know if this is gonna be... Uh, better or not. Obtain a speed when knocking... I well, might as well try it out. Oh, there's a fragment. There's a fragment over here. Uh, the enemies are gonna respawn, though. Oh. I don't have a choice. Uh, that was, uh... Back in Highland? I see. So that's uh, what happened uh, when you were in... Uh, Promalock. Promalock? What's that? Where is that? Well then, I guess uh, the next thing I'd uh, like to ask is... Hold on a minute, Kalilika. You've asked enough questions. At least let the... Let the rest of us have a chance to uh, sneak one or two in. Yeah, he's not all yours! Uh, I suppose you're right. Okay, my turn. My question is about all the pickards you've uh, run into on your travels. Uh, what a silly question. Yes, I think you can save stupid questions like that until uh, the end of time. What? <laughs> the end of time? The end of time? More importantly, adult, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> well, well, since you've asked. Uh, he sleeps around a lot. Nah, he doesn't. He doesn't. Being pretty cute and a strong warrior, I'm sure you must have all the ladies uh, swooing all over you. You haven't got a child. 
you haven't got a childhood friend back home you've sworn to spend your life with or something, have you? Or do you have uh, passionate encounters with different girls uh, everywhere you go? I don't know whether to take that uh, reaction uh, to mean you're pure-hearted or if I hit the nail right on the head. Cordelia, you, you weren't the one that uh, asked that, though. Come to think of it, you seemed uh, to be getting on uh, really well with Lisa. Oh, shit. You're not after her, are you? Oh, shit. Lisa's the waifu. Tamali. If you are, don't think you'll be getting off uh, with just a slap on the wrist. What are you... <laughs> what do you mean by that? You're, are you uh, gonna protect her? I'm sure Adol would never approach such a serious matter uh, half-heartedly. But if you were to make Lisa cry, I'd be forced to cut all that lovely ha red hair off uh, in your sleep. Wow. You've been warned. I mean, it'll grow uh, back up. You know. A guy's being bald is not that prog problematic. As long as the... <laughs> as long as the hair grows back. If it's not, then... Uh, shit. Adol, I think I speak uh, for all men when I say I completely sympathize uh, with your plight. Yeah. Anyway, going back to the Pickards. Okay, everyone, how about this? If you all keep uh, showering poor Adol with questions, it's probably going to make him very uncomfortable. So from now on, everyone will be able to ask him one question and one question only. What? I suppose that does make sense, though. At this rate, we'd be here uh, for hours otherwise. Okay, finally. So, starting with me. Hold on. I'll be deciding the order. It's from tallest to shortest. From oldest to youngest. And that order is me first. You just asked, uh, you just asked him, though. But you've been asking him questions this whole time. You've had more than enough. Yeah, this isn't fair at all. Hey, that's our Kalilika. No, one, uh, no one's going to be able to take control from her now. Well, uh, that was a scene. That was a scene. Uh, nothing I can get from it, uh, really. Adults, uh, base defense increased by one. The enemies here are gonna respawn. Uh, and the flower as well, huh? That's my level up. Chill, uh, Karna, holy hell, I'm gonna try and increase my SP! Alright, so the other path here should uh, lead to where we need to go. Leave them alone, Karna. <laughs> uh, can't differentiate between them uh, getting knocked down or uh, or actually dying. I have to keep an eye on that. Uh, anything here that I can collect? Yes. Oh, hold up. Oh, shit. They don't give me uh, a lot of uh, SP for some reason. 
I gathered all of that, nice suit. Anything uh, interesting here? Well, there is a treasure chest over here. Bitch. There is a treasure chest over here that contains uh, ten gold ores. Holy! I'm rich. I'm rich, motherfucker. There's another treasure chest over here. My goodness, Karna, uh, chill for a little bit. Holy! <laughs> This red chest will contain uh, five redstones. Don't know what I can do with them. Oh, there's a. There is a. Uh, a monument here. Is there gonna be anything special beyond this point? Oh. The presence of beasts can no longer be felt in the surrounding area. The air is still. is still untranquil. It's one of these, uh, what you call it? Uh, saplings? Yeah, sapling. Uh, there is a spirit tree sapling in this area. It would be wise to set up a tent and rest. I, I just want to see if there's, uh, where does that path lead me? I can go to the... I can go to the south. Or, uh, to the west. I guess for now, we'll have to sit here on the tent. Deploy a tent and sleep for, uh, for the time being. Enveloped in the clear air of the forest and the fragrance of the spirit tree, Adol felt his body drift into a deep, relaxing slumber. Uh, one of the memories sealed in the back of Adol's mind was restored. Oh shit. Adol appeared uh, to be out of stamina and couldn't run any further. Ha! <laughs> giving up already? Is he being followed? What the hell? So that actually happened in the past? Ildil was trying to catch Adol? Or, uh... Devil Ildil? <laughs> this is Devil Jin? <laughs> huh, what did he honestly hope to achieve by giving it uh, to a mere human? Such a pitiful attempt. Now behold, as I, the true god, finally gained the, the ultimate power. <laughs> Tundaga? Is that what happened to, to me? Is that what happened to Adol? <laughs> Casting Tundaga. Gah, not again! How many times must you get in my way before you concede defeat? So, uh, yeah, pretty much, uh... Uh, it's a uh, it's a, a gin situation. You have uh, devil gin sealed within him. But I think I think uh, in Tekken story, yeah, I'm talking about uh, Jin Kazuma from <laughs> from from Tekken, by the way. But but I think at this point in the story, Jin also had the ability to control uh, uh, the devil within him. Uh, at one point, he he uh, he he couldn't. But I think. Uh, uh, after the event of Tekken 5 he actually managed to to actually gain control over the the devil i think it has some, it has something to do by uh, with defeating uh, Jumpachi, i think cuz uh, canon uh, you know can uh, canonically uh, devil jin is the one that actually uh jen is the one that actually uh, uh, 
uh, took down Jim Pachi once and for all. Uh, Kazuya had the same problem, uh, I think, but uh, he actually managed to take control of the devil uh, uh, after the event of Tekken, uh, of Tekken 4, that's for sure. Uh, but uh, 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 let's uh, let's stop talking about Tekken. T I used to be uh, uh, I used to really follow the story of Tekken, but uh, uh, and I do know what's happening in the uh, uh, in Tekken, but I, I honestly stopped caring because because the game started to become uh, the game story become started to become anime as shit uh and i lost interest uh, after i played uh, tekken 5 like tekken 5 story was uh the cutscenes were cool the story were uh, uh disappointing and uh it's uh, been anime uh since uh since then are you okay adol you were moaning in your sleep it's nothing to worry about. I had a dream about Eldil. I had an inkling it may have been Eldil who attacked you in this area. Though it does uh, beg the question, why did he not finish you off? He would probably try. He probably tried. Maybe it was the same kind of situation as uh, when we met him in the tower. Doesn't seem uh, like his other personality has uh, fully awaken or awoken just yet. So he probably uh, snapped out, snapped out of it, uh, or something. Yeah, but how long is he going to be able to fight uh, turning into that, uh, into that other person for good? That's what I'm worried about. Oh, we have to kill El Dio. Is that how it's gonna end? Uh, probably is. We definitely need to hurry. Come on, let's find that village. Memory fragments in the surrounding area are now visible on the map. Uh, why is this one red? Why are these ones, uh, red? Why are these ones, uh, red? Uh, that is, uh, that is, uh, that is interesting. Alrighty, viewers. Uh, I'm actually recording, uh, this, uh, exactly 2 a.m., <laughs> in the morning. This is actually the, uh, my, uh, my, uh, my last day, uh, my last, my last, uh, working day in the week. I, I just, uh, finished it, and so, uh, it's pretty much, uh, a weekend for me here. So, I'm, uh, I was, uh, about to head to sleep, actually, just, uh, got, got to my room, wanted to sleep, but I thought, how might I, oh, I just want to squeeze a little bit of, uh, Enough game time, because, uh, I don't know, I don't know. felt like I want to play. <laughs> yeah, but usually, usually during the week, uh, I don't, I don't get, uh, much sleep, uh, uh, during the week, but, uh, I usually, uh, you know, whenever I, uh, whenever, uh, weekends comes, this is where, uh, where I have, uh, uh, a lot of sleep uh, when I get some, like, since uh, I don't have anything to do in the morning, usually. So I tend to uh, sleep for extra... <clears throat> for extra two, three, maybe even four hours. Uh, can I go? Uh, can I go here? Something tells me that I'm gonna be able to freeze the water and walk over it. Hopefully this is gonna be something that I can do. But, uh, I think this path is blocked for us. What do they call it? Ashen... Forest or something? Uh, yeah, Ashen Forest. Hmm. 
interesting. Yeah, I still don't know uh, what are these uh, red uh, memory fragments, by the way, viewers. They're weird. Anyhow, yeah, uh, path to the west doesn't uh, lead uh, anywhere. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and go to the path to the south. Everything from here. Oh, got a heavy. Oh, let's ignore them. Subterranean forest. Uh, the previous area wasn't that big. Surprisingly. Huh. Maybe we'll find an entrance uh, to the Ashen Forest later. This is not it though, right? We're not inside the... Uh, yeah, Subterranean Forest. I just read that. You just read that, have a nice day. You just read that out loud. Oh, new enemies! New enemies over here. Curse! Uh, what does Curse do here? Uh, Karna leveled up uh, Poison to level 2. Uh, I might consider uh, actually kicking out Karna. For the time being, since uh, she's kind of making... Uh, me take uh, much much uh, longer to actually take out enemies since she uh, keeps uh, uh, enemies hanging out uh, on the air for uh, for the longest of time so we're gonna drop her for the time being uh Yeah, all of these are new enemies. They look weird. This is like a mineral spot? Like you can actually see in the map that's actually... This is a mushroom, but uh, it is uh, noted as uh, it's uh, as a mineral so uh, Like a uh, mineral source. <laughs> <laughs> Nocturnal mushroom and coals. What does this curse uh, thing does to me? I really don't know. Hell, even Adol is uh, making things uh, tough for me. Is this curse uh, gonna last for long? I don't know uh, what does it do. Uh, there's a path for the north. That's the thing, there is no way for me uh, to actually jump up in the air and do some aerial combos to them, so... Punching them in the air is... Uh, could be if, uh, efficient to actually uh, neutralize them, or... Uh, oh. To actually, uh, you know... Uh, you know, uh, stun them, but... Uh, you're just gonna wait for them uh, for a longest of time. Well, I guess you have, uh, I guess, uh, 
uh, Dorn have an ability to actually jump up uh, with them, but uh, it costs a lot of it costs a lot of uh, SP that I cannot afford to me. or don't want to waste at least. All right, let's go ahead and check this memory fragment. <clears throat> Holy! This is, is this doggy? That's that's doggy. That is doggy. Actually, so I uh, I remember. Oh, I also remembered something uh, else, viewers. Uh, something that I actually want to share. This game uh, actually takes place before uh, Oath and Fulgana. Oath and Fulgana is supposedly uh, a remake of the third game, and that third game. Uh, isn't it? It's not a a a sequel to the second game. Surprisingly, this one is uh, the one. Uh, I actually looked into the uh, uh, chrono uh, chrono uh, chronological uh, timeline of the series, and to my surprise, this uh, happened to be uh, uh, the third game. Oh, well, well, technically the fourth one. If you if you start counting from origin, so it's origin one, two, and then uh, memories of Soseta, which is uh, weird. Which is weird. Large blue haired man. Yeah, we know that's doggy. Oh, did Dr. Uh, Flair fall asleep already? Who's Dr. Flair? Not surprised. We've barely rested uh, since we left uh, Promalock. Still can't believe he came all this way to find uh, wild sunset and flowers. So, doggy is here with us? He's one tough guy to go uh, to all this trouble uh, at his age, just to look for some uh, medicinal herbs. Uh, and seven, E seven actually, I think E seven takes uh, takes place uh, a little bit later as well. Like I forgot, I I saw the timeline. I think it's. Uh, I think it's uh, Origin 1, 2, uh, Sosera. Uh, probably Ark of Napishtim? I think it was Ark of Napish Napishtim that came after this? Uh, Sosera, uh, Sosera, and then, uh, sorry, Sosera, and then, uh, uh, what you call it? Uh, Oath and Fulgana, and I think after that it's uh, Nabishtim. I I forgot. I should probably. I can actually check it out right now. I can go it uh, right now. And uh, I think people uh, and uh, I remember hearing that officially uh, the fifth game uh, is not. Uh, is not included included in the in the official timeline. Although, uh, yeah, it's not included in the official timeline. Although. Uh, uh, from uh, from what people say that uh, uh, the fifth game, uh, as in Ease uh, Five, I think it was called uh, uh, Ease Five: The uh, Kingdom of Sand or something like that. I forgot the name. It's some. It's a game that uh, that was unreleased in the West, but uh, uh, I think there is a fan t and fan translation. Got, I, got, I think it got multiple releases too. So it's e uh, it's Origin. Then, uh, then Ease 1 and 2, then Sosera, then Oath and Filgana, then Ease 8. So Ease 8 is actually after Oath and Filgana. And after that comes Ease 6, Ark of Nabishtim. And then 7, and then 9. And I think, uh, I think, I think 5, Ease 5 is between, uh, between Oath and Filgana. I actually should probably find a way to show... Uh, the image that I'm uh, I'm watching here. Uh, although I don't think I have uh, I don't have my recording 
set up actually set up in a way that actually showcases uh, uh, how I'm showing this, but uh, showcasing what I uh, what I'm actually seeing in front of me. But uh, uh, so supposedly it's first is origin, secondly is uh, one and two, then uh, then uh, this game. And after that, it's gonna be uh, Oath and Fulgana. And after that, it's gonna be East 5. Which is strange. So it's uh, 0, 1, and 2. Then 4, which is, you know, uh, this game is supposedly the, a remake of 4. And then 3. <laughs> and then 5. And then 8. And then 6. And then 7. And then 9. Uh, yeah, this series is, uh, something. <laughs> I cannot wait to actually, I gotta be honest with you viewers, the more that I play this game, and I'm sorry, I'm actually taking way too long and actually finishing this memory, but, uh, I gotta be honest with you viewers, uh, the more, uh, uh the more that I'm actually playing this game, and I'm, I'm in, I'm a, I'm an, I'm actually, I'm actually enjoying it, viewers. Uh, but the more that I'm playing, uh, that I play this game, the more uh, that I want to jump in on, uh, on Ease 8. Mainly because of how, uh, how, uh, there's a lot of people praise that game. Like, they, they think that the, that game is really, really good. Like, even even those uh, people that used to like, even some of them that say that they used to think that Oath and Filgana is the best in the series. But after they played that game, it, like, uh, uh, it de uh, dethroned it. <laughs> dethroned uh, the king. Uh, and I've watched a little bit of it. I gotta be honest with it, with you viewers. I watch the beginning where you start, and I don't, and I don't want to spoil anything of uh, you know games that I'm that I'm not playing. Uh, it's not fair, but uh, you start in some sort of a ship, and uh, supposedly uh, after finishing the adventure uh, that happened in East Five, they even don't. Uh, I don't think they mentioned that even. That you, uh, I, I like. I don't know. I don't know what. Uh, uh, I don't know what uh, in what region uh, is uh, five took place, but uh, I saw a little bit of it. And the game, that game was uh, full on three D. Like you can actually move the camera and everything. And uh, I gotta be honest with you, viewers, uh, it looks really good. Uh, who knows? I might actually jump on it immediately. Immediately after I finish this game. Not 100% sure, though. Because I have, uh... A lot of games on, uh... I have a lot of games on, uh... On, uh... On, uh, On the waiting list that I want to play. So, I don't know if I'm gonna jump on it immediately or not. We'll see, we'll see. I'm... I don't know uh, where I'm at at this game, by the way, viewers. <laughs> like, did I reach the... I, I'm, I've already played, what, 30-something? 30 32 or something like that? So, I don't know uh, uh, how much uh, this game will take me to finish. Uh, I think people said that uh, this actually takes... Uh, might actually take a little bit longer to finish than, than E7. And people claim that they finished E7 in uh, 20 hours. And... <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys uh, seen my playthrough uh, of uh, that game? I think that game took me like uh, uh, from I think uh, the uh, the uh, uh, the hours counted of uh, of uploaded play playthrough. It's actually around uh, fifty five hours. I think the whole playlist. Like I can actually. Uh, see uh, how how many hours in a in a playlist, and I checked the the uh, uh, that playlist, and uh, I think it, it said f fifty five hours or something like that. And 
<laughs> I'm not sure if this uh, playthrough is gonna take me uh, 50, 55 hours. So probably even longer. Well, it's definitely gonna, gonna be longer if I'm gonna talk like that. <laughs> so might as well go on with it. So well, I'm enjoying the, the game. That's uh, what matters. And then we have you set on exploring the Great Force just because you're curious about it. You really aren't scared of anything, are you? Guess I wouldn't have it uh, any uh, other way, though. If it weren't for you, uh, that cursed island would still be cursed. Cursed island? Cursed island? Were they talking about... Uh... Uh, the second game? There's never a dull moment with you around. Well, as long as I get uh, to uh, as long as I get to go on uh, some uh, to go on some exciting adventure, that's just fine by me. That's probably doggy. It's not probably doggy. It's definitely one hundred percent doggy. What the shit? They were watching the goddamn. Uh Remember with us too? You son of a bitch. <laughs> They've been watching the goddamn uh, cutscene with us too. They were waiting in suspense. Have a nice day. Just shut up and continue with the game. Sons of bitches. Oh. I couldn't uh, actually uh, uh, dodge him for some reason. What is this status effect? Oh, you're not dead? What is this status effect? Can I actually check? Status ailments. Misfortune. Drop gold upon taking. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Damn. I don't want to lose money. And there's curse. Enemy attacks are always critical. Holy shit. Okay. I need to be careful, I guess. I guess I'll have to be careful. Oh, never mind. I can uh, heal up here. Uh, I don't know if I wanna wanna go through here. Is this the Ashen? Uh, is this is part of the Ashen Forest? Okay. Uh, I don't know if uh, there's gonna be a boss fight here, viewers, since you know there's a monument here. So I wanna I wanna head back. And see uh, what can I find in the other path over here. Ah, oh. yet another monument, viewers. Uh, is this gonna lead to the to the uh, village of the wise? Probably. This is probably gonna lead to the village of the wise. That Danan village. It probably is. So, I'm gonna leave that for for later, viewers. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna try and explore the whole area uh, before I do anything. Uh, we can uh, we have the ability to go back uh, there fast uh, once we finish. So it's not gonna take us long to go there once we finish exploring everything. So uh, I'm just gonna take a look around, and I'm and I'm sure that the game is gonna stop us. Before we venture, uh, before uh, before we have the ability to venture through, so who knows? Who knows? Uh, is this miasma is gonna hurt me? Uh, I cannot go through it. Yep, I cannot go through it, viewers. So I guess yeah. Well, <laughs> lucky for you, viewers, that we're actually gonna have to go. Back to the village. There's absolutely no way for us 
to continue to continue forward in exploration so yeah that's the only uh, thing that we can do here <laughs>